Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Glam Tones, my beautiful squad. I hope that you are having a wonderful Monday. As you can see, I've got my nails all ready for nail art, and we are going to work on that together today. I had intended to show you the fills, but for reasons I won't get into, that wasn't going to happen. So all I'm going to do is just show you, show you the nails. And another thing is that this isn't the video I had intended to share with you today. Um, it is the start of Aries season. I forget the exact date. Let me just quickly uh, look that up so that I can say the exact date that it is. Uh, it was actually today. It's the first day today. And I had done a set a couple weeks ago for Aries. Um, because I had an idea in my mind for it. And I was thinking about my oldest daughter who is an Aries. And so I just whipped the set out real quick and I have kept the footage and was gonna edit it for you guys uh, and put it up today. But I started editing this and by the time I realized this was not the video I meant to put up today, it was starting to get too close to air time. And I was like, nope, just stay focused on this one and we will do Aries on Wednesday. So stay tuned for that hit that subscribe button because especially if you're an Aries or you love an Aries, this one's for you or that one's for you. This one is just for me. These are my nails and I'm loving green right now. So we did that pretty teal green on two of the nails. On three of the nails, we're going to do this white. I'm only going to show you this one because I was a little out of frame for the rest. I'm barely in frame now. Let me tell you what, I had to really pull myself down there. <laughs> uh, then we came in with a matte top coat. As you can see, all of these are matte top coat except the green. And we are just going to use my homemade alcohol inks. Um, if you're curious how I did that, I will go ahead and link a little link to that video here. And I don't wear them on myself very often because honestly, I need to get some liquid latex and you will see at the end of the video why, which if you're familiar with liquid latex, you already know why, but this is messy stuff. And whether you make it at home or you buy it at a store, it's alcohol. So alcohol spreads and it's ink and ink stains. And when it spreads, it stains. And <laughs> There was a bit of that. Um, and then also, as you can see, when I work with white polish for some reason, tell me if the, you struggle with this as well, I can't keep it off my skin. And when I get it off my skin, it doesn't come off. It always stains my skin. Uh, other polishes, like I got some of that blue on there already. It's not there, you know, it comes right off. White, no. And when I'm working with my non-dom, which is what we're doing now, this is an adventures in non-dom. Uh, I'm going to touch my skin sometimes. It's just going to happen and I do my best not to, but I was actually a little shaky when I was making these. So ta -da! that's how it went. Um, so what we're doing is just creating a messy paint splatter marble sort of situation. Um, I really, it is kind of a marble, but I don't really think of this as a traditional marble because to me, a marble is meant to look like stone and to me this is meant to look like a mishmash of watercolor mess and that's what I was going for and I think that's exactly what we have achieved here so I'm just coming in and putting it down and splattering it around and then using other alcohol you know plain alcohol to disperse it where I need to um the the pinky nail I actually did and then completely remove and do again, which when you remove it, there will be a little staining behind. There's just, it's almost impossible to get it completely off without a little bit of buffing. And here we go. I'm going to take it off. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm doing right now. Pretty sure that's what I'm doing right now. La la la. Yeah, I mostly took it off and now I'm coming in. And, and redoing some some extra laying down, right? I took the, the, you can never get it all off. So really all I did, and I think I'm gonna, I might do it again actually. And I left all those in because you can see the staining, right? There's no way around it. Here we go, I'm doing it again. There we go, see I did it again. There's still that staining. 
but then we're going to come in and I'm already starting to like it by crossing those two colors. I love that. Let it dry for a few seconds in between. It really doesn't take long because it's alcohol and alcohol really disperses quickly and it evaporates quickly. And I'm really starting to like it. And I'm just coming in with the lightest of the yellows. This one is more yellow and white than the others. One's a little more blue, one's a little more everything. That's what I like about it, that every single nail has its own flavor. You can give each and every one its own feeling. And I've been trying to learn how to do some other things with the alcohol inks, but guys, there's a learning curve with that. So definitely stay tuned on that because I'm going to keep practicing. I've been practicing so hard. That's why I'm almost at a matte top coat. Need to get to that nail salon or nail store. And um, I'm cutting out some uh, clearly. I'm, I'm cutting out some water decals and letting them soak for a few seconds. And really that's all it takes. Just a few seconds, maybe as much as a minute. And then slide it off, decide where it goes, and then slide it into place. Boom, done. Now, um, while it's wet, it will move. So you have a few seconds to really get it in place like I'm doing here. And the part that's hanging off, and see you can wet it as well and it will help move it, move it. But once it dries, it's really, I don't know what the magic is, but it just clings to that nail. And I love working with water decals. Um, when you're in a hurry and you just can't do the nail art yourself, this, this is a beautiful way to go. And the little tiny piece that doesn't cover the whole nail, almost like a French, right? Like a, a pretty little hand-drawn French, which we didn't hand draw. <laughs> now, we're gonna do top coat and I wanna tell you when you're working with the alcohol inks, you cannot let your brush touch the nail. So what I do is hold the, I, I pull the top the brush out like normal and pull the, the, the top coat off the back just like normal. And then I hold the brush for a second and let it ball up at the tip of the brush and then I just drag that ball across the nail because if those bristles touch that nail, they are going to leave drag marks in your alcohol ink and just, it, it's, it's, it's actually a pretty effect, but if that's not the effect that you're going for, be very careful with your top coat application. Um, that's why I probably should have not done this look with my non-dom, but what are you gonna do? It's good for my skills. Okay, this is the finished set, guys. I kind of love these. Um, I'm obsessed with green right now. This brings it into the teal and the blue and the yellow, so all the combinations that bring green together. And I love it, but you can see on my middle finger, right there, I've got some staining. And that's because I was not as careful on that finger as I should have been. I brought in too much blue. As you can see, the, the effect is pretty, but it's stained. Let me know what you think of these guys in the comment section below. I really thank you so much for coming by today. I appreciate all of your time and I love spending that time with you guys. Have a wonderful day. We're going to see you Wednesday for Aries Nails. Bye-bye guys.